Well, that's her indoors, heading off to get uh, the gates open because we're off in the boat. Once again, back here home in Suffolk. That needs a walk. It's a lovely day. It seems to be that the disco is the thing. Um, here we are, just all untied and unshackled. We need to launch her down the slip at our local place. Now coming down the slipway. in the water there's a little trailer it's always good to have a little look at your trailer when she's off to see if it needs any maintenance and it does need a little to be honest on a few bits that'll do for another day all right off we go following the little water trail from the wheels so indoors beautifully as ever holding the boat some other guys seem to be retrieving with the tractor that's the other slipway, that's a sort of um, um, a speedboat or, or public slipway, I think. It's okay, but there's nowhere to park. So this is the Deben Bar now, where they've completely changed the channel. And you can see why, because where we used to go over there is very narrow. So we're now going what's called the Northern Passage. We've got 11 foot, a couple of hours after high water, low water. Yeah, completely different. Keep close to that red boy, because you've got a lot of bubblies and squirrelies there with low uh, ground, 11 foot at this point. Yeah, so a completely different channel this year, which I did know about, I did read about. And the East Coast pilot will help you out if you need a chart. So I'd suggest keeping fairly close to this red boy. Which is the West Knolls. There's a lot of bubbling there, so and it's fairly lowish there, but we've got full 15 foot here. There's a safe water boy over there, so a completely different track to what I'm used to for many years. That's the joys of the demon. The so for those of you that might be coming in this year for the first time on the new track, you would start at the safe water boy, the Woodbridge Haven boy, which is that red white monster just ahead of me. The Woodbridge Haven, then you head towards the first red and green. Remember, going into the port, you keep the red to your left and the green to your right. For some reason, our indoors is putting a coat on. Shall we take that off shortly? You can just see the red boy up the front. Here we've got 22 foot, as I say, about two and a bit hours after low waters, water at the actual safe water boy or the wood which Right, off right, we go. We're completely off track. Well, I am in a two little 4.5 metre rib. So there's the first green boy, which is just above her indoors' head. So we'll do it right. There's the first green boy, you take that on your right and you head for the red over there near the squirrely water which you take on your left. If you can't remember it, you remember is there any red port left? And 
and that's what you do when you're coming into a haven or a river and the out going out of course in the UK it's opposite so we've got nine foot four here ten foot You don't want to get too far over to the right because there's some squirrely water there. So you take that on your left and we head for the next red buoy. Get over there. where you used to go but not anymore between the uh, concrete and shore and that tiny spit there's not much left but now this year you take that on the left and then you got that on your right and then basically you're in the river but it's only six foot here so we're still fairly shallow seven foot eight foot I think if you're any sort of draw any draft you need to be about two or two and a half hours before high water I would say on each side of high water but don't quote me. So we're just keeping up a steady sort of 22 knots over the bit that you're allowed to go fast the water ski bit. There's quite a big area really we've got a pontoon there with a jet ski next to that. Yeah, it's quite a reasonable bit if you're into that sort of thing. I try to raise my friend on his new radio, Bass 2, but he's an idiot and he's got it on I reckon, even though he asked me to. Oh, the pretty boat choking up the D, but or anchor actually, challenge. People on it, what a beauty. Some of them have a nice lean on their sailing dinghy. Doors reckon she's gonna have a little rest in the sun. Look, I don't know, boating and relaxing, whatever next. It's meant to be all stress and hassle, I thought. Oh, a hell of a glare off that windscreen. It's the Ramsgate Arms. What idiots in Ramsgate? That's where I was in, in earlier in the week. It's the Rams Holt Arms. If you go there, last time we went by road, you had to pay to park. I ain't having that. Little butterfly going across. Seems to be going for ultimate comfort with a feet on a towel of arse on a towel. Hello. Luna. What do they say? If you're going to have one, have a big one. And that's a windy big one. That's where we'll be at the old ubiquitous Ramsholt rocks where there are of course no rocks. Let's see if we can raise my numpty mate. Bass 2, Bass 2, this is click and collect, click and collect, over. He's not answering. He said call me up, so I've just done my new radio course and he wanted to try it out, but nah. He's not listening. Well, there's a lot of little sails and bigger sails out today, which there should be. It's a lovely day. Some might say one of the first really nice days we've had down here, and there's a good wind if you're a sailing person. As they would say, haven't got the Genoa up. See, I know sails names. It's not as jib, it's Genoa. I they think. certainly zip along. I don't know if they worry about six knots. Loads of them. I remember when I first started boating, this would worry me. This was all these boats all over the place. Now you just realise they're very manoeuvrable and so are you. Her indoors is paying no attention. This lady or gentleman and lady have got their little pig spinnaker out. Good for them. Are they going to overhaul her? Uh, 
river trips. Very often there's a lot of old people in there all looking in which yakking to each other and not looking at oh it's a birthday party. There's the uh, Maybush Wilding Field. Oh well that was the yacht cup, there's the Maybush at Wilding Field. Still looking to my mate Bass too, I don't know where he is. Probably he doesn't either. Well after a lot of chugging at about six knots, we're now approaching Woodbridge. Which of course is where the name comes from the safe water boy of Woodbridge Haven. The Haven of Woodbridge. Well I've been calling him for I don't know how long and there's his boat still on the mooring. So someone's got the time wrong or I don't know what. Anyway this is Woodbridge. For those that have never been up here in a boat. This is sort of a uh, little bit further you get um, Wood Woodbridge Marina, that's about as far as you can go on the Diva. I think we found him but he was obviously all late having a little whiskey out of his hip flask. Just uh yeah not long where he's going today including look at this person here what have we got Hello. <gasps> Right, and we're heading back now, and another lovely boating day is done. It's got back back to the slip, we cover and get home. Uh, nice and slow through the moored yachts. Shit and I'm quite pleased how we have this set up from uh, pulling it out of the water to being ready to drive off is no more than 10 minutes I just put the engine up put the bag on these straps are to the perfect length so they go on at the back I leave the number plate on because it's LED um, and that's worked for several three or four years now sealed up this her indoors is going to hand me the bag and then we're ready for the off Always put a safety chain on the front there so nothing untoward happens. Hold the car and we're off ski home. Thanks for watching. <laughs>